This is a Hot Pie Media Original. You know what's going to be cool? I hate to nerd out on the NFL. Um, this is hilarious. I, I think I might even watch. So the NFL setup is that if, let me make sure I get this right. So if certain things happen, and they're not even that far out, not even that far out, it's conceivable that two teams will be playing this weekend and they need to play for a tie. In other words, they need to kneel or fall down, both of them, for 60 straight minutes. Uh, it's true. They're both be best served if they tie. Both of them get into the playoffs if they tie. So, you know what you do? I mean, it's setting up. I mean, you know exactly what you need to do. One, you need to get healthy. So you walk over there and say, Coach, let's do this. What do we got? We got 60 minutes? Cool. We're going to take it. We're going to kneel every play and we're going to punt. Will you do the same? Deal. Let's go. It's going to make me laugh. It's going to, this fantasy loser, I'm sorry, fantasy football players, they're going to freak out and it's all setting itself up. I, and there's nothing the NFL can do about it. The system, the playoff system is what it is. So here, here's the scenario. Uh, this is when you have to love nerds, right? Um, this is the guy who is dateless, who's sitting up all night trying to figure this stuff out. But whoever figured this out, you're on to something. For the first time, it's reported in NFL history, there's a week 18. That's this weekend. Um, you know, it's not, not healthy, not conducive to uh, good brain health, but the NFL has 18 weeks. As the extra week looms over the league, quite a few different playoff scenarios could still unfold. One of the many wild ways that may potentially play out could result in two teams taking knees for 60 minutes to force a tie. And it's not that complicated. So in this scenario, the Jacksonville Jaguars play the Indianapolis Colts. Don't laugh. I know the Jaguars are dumpster fire. But Jacksonville, since 2015, has beaten the Colts six times. They're 6-0. and oh. So if Jacksonville beats... Indianapolis. And just an if. John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce, now in all 50 states and several retail outlets as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to let this social media rock star chef uh, walk us through four different sauces, and then I'll taste, and we'll tell everyone why they should buy. You can give the science behind yeah. these, and then I'll make the uh, the simple recommendation. Go to atxhotsauce.com. All right, so let's go. I don't so think anybody's go. heard the website. Yeah, I know. I know. You, Jeff, <laughs> I've but never that, heard yeah, that. It is atxhotsauce.com. I'll say 345 right. times, atxhotsauce.com. So let's do it. Uh, I brought four flavors here, and we're going to test your palate today. Okay. And I only brought four because I didn't think you could handle five yeah. or six. Yes, Probably a smart move. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the first one we're going to try here, it's called Beat Heat. And just like the name implies, beet. it beet, it has beets in it. It's made with red Fresno peppers. Red Fresnos are uh, red peppers that are, uh, they're hotter than a jalapeno and a little bit less than a serrano. So not super hot here, uh, just a lot of good, really good flavor. So we're going to start All with right. this one and then we're going to move up the chain. Okay. I've had the beet heat, but okay. Yeah, we're going to try it though. We're it, goes try it, well, it goes well with a cab. All right, Jeff's savoring beet I'll heat. I'll even do it with you, so that should be all right. Now, remember, it is hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's hot sauce. Trust me, man. Wait, that one's, is that one hot to you? Um, no, no, no. A little. Yeah. The, the, no. the great thing with the fermentation process is you get a bunch of the flavor right up front. Yeah. And then the heat comes, but then it dissipates pretty quickly, especially with the red Fresnos. You know, this is not a very spicy uh, one, but it is um, a very tasty one. goes on great on sandwiches. Beet heat. Beet heat. B-E-E-T. Heat. All right, go to atxhotsauce.com. That's right. But there's now reason to laugh during the day. So if they were to beat them, one, you know, you're going to lose some money. But they do that. Guess what happens in another game? It would be Las Vegas and L.A. playing that afternoon. That game is for a playoff spot. That's kind of cool. If Jacksonville were to beat Indianapolis – both the Raiders reportedly, and I haven't done all the math, but I think this is right, both the Raiders and the Chargers would get in the playoffs if they tie. 
If they tie, let's play for a tie. The league can't do anything about it. The league can't, you know, they can't send uh, that jackass commissioner down there to say, look, you guys need to play the game for real. This isn't cool. Stop taking a knee. They can't do that. They need to decide well within the rules. We'll do this. We want to be healthy. We want to get in the playoffs. How about you guys? Agreed? Let's shake. All right. Quarterback. Snap, kneel, snap, kneel. I need to do that for the next hour and a half. We're going to tie. We're both going to get in the playoffs. Everybody can take your stuff off and sit on the sidelines, get a hot dog. I don't care. We're going to play for a tie. Imagine, imagine how pissed off the crowd gets like five minutes into that. But they both make the playoffs with a tie. Otherwise, the winner is automatically in. A tie, they're both in. So if Jacksonville, if Indianapolis beats Jacksonville, you think that's going to happen, but whatever. If they do that, then the winner of this Raiders-Chargers game is in and the other one's out. Jacksonville beats them. They both get in with a tie. What's the best way to tie? What's the safest way? Imagine going to the locker room. Okay, guys, got to talk about something here. What is the safest thing we can do for the next hour? Um, you want to take a knee or do you try to want to try to run a play? What do you want to do? You just want to throw it up in the air? You want to punt it back and forth? What do you guys want to do? Because we're going to go kill 60 minutes of football right now. What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Do you want quarterback? Do you mind? Let's get a backup to do it. Son, you need to take the snap and fall down for the next 60 minutes so we get in the playoffs. From the Hot Pie Media Studios in Austin, Texas, it's the Jeff Ward Show. Listen at jeffwardshow.com.